Hi, uh, this is Manan Vasan. Uh, I am going to talk about the Open Event Android project. I know you've heard a lot about Open Event, Open Event. All the sessions by line are going for Open Event, but yeah. So this is the and mainly the Open Event Android generator, which is currently be uh, has has been used to uh, generate the APK for the Android app that is being used in uh, for 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 Asia. So yeah, uh, something about Open Event different from what other guys have said is that uh, so there have been lot of systems like frap pentabuff pentabuff is a event management system that was basically uh, started in 1990s and it was an awesome system then but now it's obsolete then came frap frap is still currently being used for c3 conferences and uh, uh, and uh, and the fosdem conferences as well but uh, how we are different is that we are uh, giving you a plug and play model you can use our event apps you can use our apis whatever you want you don't have to use the whole system you can use it as it as it as it pleases you so that's a really cool feature about uh, uh, open event so yeah so uh, about the uh, moving on to the current status of the open event or the event ea system is that official as i said official for asia apps are based on the event ea platform and the open event generators uh, lots of functionalities the offline schedules the uh, offline support the schedules work uh, search functionality sorting functionalities a lot of things as uh, okay so just a quick count how many of you are using the android app okay the rest i am assuming are using the web app i presume <laughs> so uh, just give a uh, try uh, try the android app if you so i know the web app is pretty cool and stuff but the android app uh, gives you the option to uh, like bookmark sessions and you will get notifications and there's a offline support offline schedule sorted by a lot of things it's so please just go and try it okay so yeah uh, about the production uh, so right now event ea has few minor uh, bugs which are maybe which uh, which are maybe we can say that it's still in beta but uh, if you're running it for fos asia and you know it's it's pretty much in a current stable state uh, current stable state so uh, yeah so so right now uh, the the problem that so this was the idea which was suggested by mario in 2014 i was a google customer of code student in uh, uh, 2015 as well as 2016 so when the first time the project was suggested was when mario had to like uh, for for asia 2016 mario had to uh, sorry for asia 2015 mario had to make uh, an android app then a web app then maintain all of that stuff and it was it had to be done every year which was very painful so as you can understand he is also uh, uh, he's he's also busy with a lot of conferences and stuff like that but so he so we suggested the pro he suggested a project for google summer of code and we came up with this idea that we need something that works every year with we don't have to make some make any changes to it and so that is how the idea came next year we evolved to something even better which is that anyone any organizer or any person can just use the event ea system to generate their web apps android apps as well as the apis or and and not uh, and it's not exclusively all of these you can do any one of these like the plug and play model you can use your own event apis which you have maybe from the previous years or the android apps if you don't like the uh, the event ea system so it's it's pretty much very awesome because uh, there's there's no one following this approach right now so yeah it as as i said that there's no standard within apps of different events so once you take uh, once you for example you went to the fosdem conference you you get used to the app there then you come to fos asia you find a new format for the app there so it's pretty time consuming process to learn how the apps are working then time consuming process for the organizers as well because they have to get everything ready for the event so yeah so that is why we want what we wanted was a system that can do everything just on the click of a button 
you don't have to do anything in this. So, yeah. Solution, these are the three things, the web app generator, the Android generator, and the Orga server or the event EA platform. So, uh, so what happens is that the web app generator and the Android app generators are just, I'll be giving the demo for Android app generator, but they are just two platforms where you have to enter your email and your API links and or your JSON files. So, uh, so we offer two things that one, you can add your API link which is for uh, real-time uh, updates of your events. Otherwise, you can also display an offline schedule, which if you, have a, if you have just some JSON files, you can upload them, and the parser will, do, uh, a parser will pass the JSON files and uh, package it into the web app and the Android apps, and you're good to go. So, uh, and the Orga server with, or the event EA platform is something that combines both of these and gives you the access to the API as well as the Android app generator and the web app generator. So this was the solution we proposed. Uh, we worked extensively on this uh, in Google Summer uh, Code uh, 2016 as our projects, uh, me, Narind, uh, Niranjan, uh, Ayush, Avi, all of us did this. And uh, so yeah, uh, so my part was on the APK generator so uh, what, what the APK generator is that, so I'll just be giving a demo, short demo, but what the basic concept is, you build, you download, and you deploy your own event apps at just one click, just one click. What you can do, so what you can do is that if you don't want to use our deployment, you can deploy the server on your own uh, clouds or uh, you, or you can use the existing APIs, web apps, Android, as I said, plug and play model. So that is what you can do with the uh, open event system. Going forward, uh, we have some things. So right now, the UI is pretty basic. You, you can only uh, choose, you can just change some colors in the app, the Android app, and uh, uh, you can't do much customization. So going forward, we want to have we want to customize everything in the app down from the uh, the color of the uh, the color of the main screen to the uh, to the format in which the data is displayed so we want to do everything and we still want to keep the simplicity uh, simplicity of the existing system uh, so have even more customization for different formats for so for example right now uh, conferences like c3 and uh, fosdem have their own uh, have their own JSON formats, and uh, Fossacia is kind of using the formats that are accepted by most of the conferences around the world, which is the RE format. Uh, so we want to, uh, we want to. Uh, so what the event EA system does is that it uses all the uh, all the uh, all the it parses all the formats which are available and it converts it into a unified format which can be used by the, uh, the app and the web app generator to create a unified app. We want to move forward with more customization in that, so that would be one of, our, uh, one of the things that we are looking at in going forward. Uh, and one more thing that is missing from the event EA system is that you can't just, so uh, right now you can't just go to event EA and create your own Android apps and the web apps. You have to go to the Android app generator separately and the web app generator separately and create your own apps over there. So we want to unify the system more, even more. Eventually, we want to move to one app for all conferences. That is the ultimate goal because it's pretty easy to do that and it's a very big problem that people, and, uh, that people just download one app for three days or four days of a conference and then they just uninstall it. So we want a system that you can use all throughout the uh, all throughout the year for all the conferences you are attending. So this is the demo of the Android app generator. So this is pretty basic UI. You just enter your email. You select uh, if you want to upload your own JSON files or if you have a uh, API endpoint, and then you just uh, uh, click generate a, uh, app. And now the Gradle, uh, if, if you are familiar with Android development process, there's a whole uh, list of processes that Gradle runs to build an APK, then signs the APK, and then uh, returns the release signed APK. 
So now, right now, uh, it's basically running some pre-built task. I'm going to skip this. So intermediates, then it will go. F yeah, dexing, then okay. So now it it has come to packaging. Then it signs the APK and then it returns the APK. Now you can just download the APK or you will also get this on your email. So, yeah. So it's as simple as that. Oh, just a second. Okay. So, yeah. So this is a. Uh, Pretty much that there is to the Android uh, generator. So what you can do is, uh, okay, so this is done. Yeah, so uh, what you can do is, how you can help is that you can maybe com come on to the uh, GitHub Android open event Android uh, uh, the repo and you can maybe contribute to it. And uh, we are looking for contributors right now because it's still, there's a lot of work to be done over here. And yeah, thank you. This is my contact information if anybody has any questions. Thank you. <laughs> questions? What did I say? I mean, come on. <laughs> questions during the conference. I've got a question. Uh, yeah. Um, so I was wondering if you considered uh, not going through the normal build process to bring over maybe using some other tool that would uh, compile both to Android and Android. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, so the thing is that uh, we have considered that possibility as well, but React Native is uh, right now not offering as much customizability that we are having in the Android SDK. Uh, so, for example, we are right now able to change a lot of uh, things in the, uh, in the signing process as well, but that, since React Native is, not working, uh, is working on top of the Android SDK, it takes a lot of uh, different steps to do that, which is currently not possible. So that is why we uh, decided to go with the native apps instead of React Native or I Ionic for that matter. Thank you. Anyone else? Thank you.